But cell phone time is very expensive back then. So we only make the conversation short and sweet. And you don't want to talk too long because the cell phone bill can be really high. And then a few years later, we have the Blackberry. I love my Blackberry. I still have it, but not really using it. The Blackberry, to me, I love it with a keyboard. I type email very efficient without having going back to the computer to type emails. And then a few years later, we, we don't use Blackberry anymore and the smartphone come. And smartphone can do so many things. GPS, oh, where's this house backing onto? Okay, let me see. So using the cell phone, we can show the direction of the house, backing south and backing north. Very, very helpful. The best invention will be for sure the electronic signing. Back in the old days when we were negotiating an offer, always at night time, always run to the midnight. Back then when we have to get the initial, get a signature, we have to drive across town to get the client's signature. Now, sit back and type and then Please sign, I send it to you. So it's so, so handy. For sure, we witness all the changes in technology. Technology helping our work. But one thing, one thing we cannot change is our hearts. Our hearts, our passion, our dedication, and our due diligence to help clients. We safeguard their best interests. That's our job, very, very important. Buying your first home, upgrade to another one, it can be your biggest investment in life, right? And you incur to have a half a million mortgage or even bigger mortgage, 
So definitely you want to know what you're doing. So make sure that your investment is protected. So that's our job and that's who we are as a realtor. I'm so busy. Many people ask me, Jessica, do you sleep? <laughs> well, sure, I sleep. I have to sleep eight hours a day oh. in order to function. <laughs> I'm very fortunate having a very hectic schedule every day. I work about 12 to 14 hours a day, more, almost seven days a week. So work long hours. The good thing is I know how to wind down at the end of the night, wind down, cool down. Once I hit the pillow, I have a good night's sleep. So that's how I recover my energy. The next morning I grab my coffee, another day. I'm very, very thankful. So I'm here to thank all of the clients who, without you, I couldn't do I couldn't have done what I have been doing. So well, thank, thank you, you again. <laughs> Having my brokerage is always in my dream. I always thinking, hmm, it would be nice that I have my own brokerage, I have my own team, and carry on my uh, work. One day, if I retire, at least my client will be looked after by my team. I myself know children. My business is my baby. I don't want to raise my baby and one day, oh, I retire. And then I close my business. And that's, I don't want to. During COVID, uh, two weeks, I didn't have to go out. In the beginning, I was quite happy because this is hardly have opportunity to stay home, organize the house, organize my home office. But after a week or a weekish, I start quite bored. So I know retirement is not for me. I miss the time mingling and dealing with clients. I like to interact with people. And uh, so I know I'm not retired anytime soon. So I start talking to some uh, broker who is running a brokerage or managing an office. I start to ask them, hey, I would like to be a broker and open my own brokerage. And the feedback was, nah, it's lots of work. It's not worth it. You're good in sales. Keep on selling, making money. So the feedback was kind of negative to me and discouraging. So in 2022, I bought a building on 14th Street. So my dream started again. I was wondering, hmm, it would be nice that I have my office here, my sign on the 14th Street. That is so nice. So I shared my dream with my friend Carrie. I said, Carrie, what do you think? I'm thinking to open my own brokerage. So her feedback is, why not? Why not? So her why not gear up my passion, my dream to have my own brokerage. So October 7, 2022, I opened my brokerage, JC, Aoyi and Management. flies, two years pass by, and I'm very happy. Many, many clients support me. Many communities, when they receive the flyer, no more Remax, JC Aoyi, and they're still calling me. So I'm very thankful for the support. From the opening till this October, we already closed 510 transactions. Wow. So very, very thankful, grateful for all the support. So I'm here to 
introduce my team, David Chen. Many people may have dealt with David, so he got the same last name. Some people say, is he your husband? No. Is he your brother? No. Even worse, is he your son? No. <laughs> So David Chan joined me uh, since 2010. So he's very helpful and uh, worked with lots of buyers. Vivian. <laughs> Vivian got a PhD in science, but he doesn't. She doesn't want to practice science. She loves real estate. So she become a realtor and she's really good at it. And she likes to deal with people. Do do it. She's a young entrepreneur. She runs a few stores, have her own business. Same thing, she got very high pressure, uh, passion with real estate. So that's why she joined me and she looked up to me, Jessica, I want to learn from you. <laughs> so here, so Dudu actually uh, has been very successful this year, helping many buyers and she's very good with people. Thank you. <laughs> Next is Jeffrey, six foot tall. So Jeffrey, I knew him since he was one year old. Why? He's my nephew. So uh, from his young age till now a handsome young man, so I can see his change. And I'm very glad to have him in my team. So right now he's helping many of the buyers and he is really good in solve problem. So that's his, uh, he's uh, with an IT background. So always when there is a problem comes to him, he always like to solve problem. So if you have any real estate problem, call him. <laughs> Carol is very good in the condominium. So she helped many clients in buying and selling condominiums. So if you're thinking about investing, Give her a call. Last but not least is Austin, the youngest in my team. Actually, I'm only 35, so <laughs> anyway. So uh, Austin also with an IT background, good in computer. So again, he's very helpful doing the open house, very hard working. Yesterday, he went to door knocking, trying to learn from me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so today, we are here to celebrate. Today we are here to say thank you for all the clients, all the support for so many years. I kept repeating myself, really truly I meant it. Without you, without Jessica Chen. TV with a video from 1991, Jessica Chan. She was pretty, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the days, I was young. So anyway, so this video captured all the moments from 1991 all the way to uh, right now this moment. So uh, lots of thankful, grateful moment. Do you guys like this backdrop? Yes. Is it pretty? Yes. It's amazing. Yeah. I was thinking about to order a piece of the uh, backdrop, like a piece of cloth. So one of my friends, he said, no, maybe we can do 3D. I said, what, 3D? So he drew, uh, uh, drew it out to show me. I still could not imagine what it is. But then he said, what kind of budget you have? I said, my budget is very low. But 
anyway, thank you, Patrick. So he actually put this together, his ideas, and put it together like a whole. And we brought the uh, couch from my office. So am I matching it? Yeah. The color? trust fund sending to the lawyer so she's been very very helpful thank you Melissa thank you so Virginia has been with me for three years and she is the administrative staff also she's assisting me and Melissa doing the uh, convincing and also got property management we calculating all the rent we collect in and send out to all the homeowners so she's very good in numbers and helping me Thank you, Virginia. story will not be successful without you guys. Thank you. <laughs> 